what's up everyone? This is Lil Kimmy D from Third Gear and I am with my amazing one and only husband. Catch! Um, what's up guys? So right now we just got back from a ride and it's a beautiful day out so we are gonna install my, what do you call them? Flush mounts. Flush mount turn signals. Um, a lot of people, there's some people like them sticking out just for the fact other people can see it. I just want mine stuck in because I think it's just better looking that way. So Mike is going to be installing them while I'm the one who's going to be controlling the camera because, you know, I'm not mechanically inclined. What is it? Mechanically inclined. Yes. Or speak English. Or speak English at that. So. I am gonna switch the camera around and we are gonna start. Oh, and I'm also gonna be reading the instructions. So hopefully my broken English isn't gonna to be too bad. Horrible. <laughs> All right. I have these. I ordered them online from AFC Signals. Um, he pretty much custom made these. And what they do is they're gonna replace the turn signals on my 2018 Street Triple R. Um, this piece right here, see how it's sticking out and it's annoying and bulky and look at it. It's, it's just like a giant, I don't want to be provocative or anything, but perverted, whatever, but it, it's just not cutting it for me. So I got these ones. My husband actually has these flush mount turn signals, not these particular ones, but he has these on his CBR 600 and they look pretty good. So what I ordered was the smoke yes not the dark but the smoke so we'll see how that is and it is led so i don't have to replace bulbs however if the leds somewhat burn out then i'm kind of screwed aren't i <laughs> okay the bolt is to go through the back hole of your shroud who doesn't like the back hole <laughs> of your shroud the wires through the front and for best fitment if needed Open up the hole on your fairing with a small file and tighten the lock nut till you're satisfied with the fitment. Do not over tighten, but tighten till the signals pull to the shroud. The lock nut and washer will hold it there firmly and against any vibrations. <laughs> you got all that. You gonna read the part what your wire goes to what? There is none. I, I'm telling you that. There the yellow wire on the turn signal is attached to the color wire on your wiring harness. The black wire goes to the black wire on your wiring harness. It says it right there. Okay, well. Thank you. So on the bike, there's this shield that bolts to the side of the radiator. You take that shield out of the way and you take this bolt out and you can get the bracket off that the mount actually bolts to. And now you'll have the room to flip it upside down and get that washer and lock nut on the back side of this. Let's put our wires back through our hole. Put our guy in its place right there. That goes there. So see, it looks like we may have enough. Uh, I don't know if we have enough with the flat washer yet, so let's take a look. I might actually have to get a wrench for this. I don't think I'm gonna use the flat washer that it comes with. Let's see. <sighs> Big old hands. Oh my god. I swear. <laughs> Listen, I got big fingers. Okay. Let's see if we can do this with this socket. Yep, looks like we'll be able to get it in there. So we're going to align it nice and straight there. How we like it. 
Make sure we're snug. And there's that. So without the flat washer, there's enough thread that the nylon lock nut actually locks into place. So now that we've got it off, we have to put all this back on. So we're gonna plug our wires in again, guys, because I don't like reaching back underneath a bunch of things just to plug a wire in. So like you said in the instructions, yellow goes to the color, black goes to the black. So let's see if we can get this back up here. See, that wasn't so difficult. And now all he has to do is put the plate back on. So I do recommend if you are going to do this, it might as well take the two extra steps to take I off. I recommend you have to if you have the same bike. Unless you have like baby fingers. Nope. Need to take that off. It's it's just in the way. There's you, there's nothing you can do about it. So there's two extra steps that are not in the instruction. So not too much, uh, as we can see going back together. There's not that much. Uh, it slides right up underneath. So no worries about whether or not you can get it into place. God darn it! <laughs> well, Y'all should have seen how many times Kim, little Kimmy D over here tried to put that nut on the back without me taking this stuff off. She dropped it about 40 times and it rolled all the way away. Oh, I still have to grab those, don't I? Nope, I did. <laughs> all right, guys, since we had such a hard time with the other side, having to figure things out due to some miscalculations from the gentleman who designed the indicators, little Kimmy D here is going to do the other side and I'm going to record it and we're going to go step by step with what we found works easiest on the other side. Gosh darn it. You got your one, one socket head screw right there. Once you got it loose, you can pluck down on that rubber up there. <laughs> pluck like a chicken. Yep. And then pull straight out. It's not that easy when you pull straight out. It is. It's. No. Oh, Kim, you're in the way. Well, I'm supposed to look. Old bike going by. Pull. It's just a rubber lock. It won't pull. Right here. <laughs> and right there. Oh. Okay. Just pull. Go ahead and unplug your wires. Wherever they are. Right here. Get, pull on the wire. <laughs> so you're going to pull your cords out so you can get to the wires and you're going to unplug them. Greasy. That would be dielectric grease. Helps keep the water out. All right, now we got them loose. So we can just go ahead and pull that out, set your plastic down without scratching it, and we'll go over what we found to be the easiest process next. So before we go any further, there's a, a hex nut on the back right here, which is what the old one screws into. Now, the new indicator light has a pre-built stud on it, and it goes through that spot. The problem is, on the other side, there's not enough room to get that nut on due to the radiator tubing. So what we found works easiest is we're gonna take- Did you just drop my new light? Yeah, totally, on its side. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out this and this Torx bit. Then you gotta take this one out and this is actually gonna take the bracket off, taking it completely off the bike where you can mount it and the light together on the inside of the, the plastics. All right, now we can grab our light, feed our wires through the larger hole. Thank you for showing everybody, Kim. <laughs> I'd like to keep to myself, if you know what I mean. Can you pull on my end? <laughs> okay. So now, and we decided we're not going to be using the flat washer that it comes with because you won't get enough lock on the nylon with the threads if you were to use the flat washer. So Kim here is gonna tighten it down. Check your alignment on the other side, make sure it's nice and pretty where you like it. And make sure you don't- Over tighten it. I'm gonna repeat that again, make sure you don't- Over tighten it, you will break the light and you will have to order another one. As long as it's flush and tight, you are good. It's a lock nut. <laughs> All right, lock our wires back up here into place. 
<laughs> Lock your nuts. And now, to get that plastic off, there's a little rubber nipple right here, and there's a little dimple right here, dimple. and there's what goes around our dimple. And nipple. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what goes around our little rubber up there. No, you called it a nipple. So I said dimple. You said nipple and dimple. <laughs> you said nipple, pervert. Oh, I'm so mechanically not inclined to do this right now. Oh, oh, oh. So as you guys just saw, that also covers up the radiator cap. Sweet. So in order to get to the radiator, you have to Take off that piece of plastic, that fairing there. And this one goes on the bottom. Yes, it does. Goes on the bottom and tighten it back in. Sorry for the video, guys. Kimmy D likes to stick her head in front of things. You can tighten that one a little bit tighter than the rest. So that is an <laughs> actual mounting screw. There you go. Not too tight. And that just pops right back into place. Where is this one? Right where you put it. That's, yeah, there you go. Did you connect your wires already? Okay, you can, you have little hands, let's go. Come on. Oops. Tighten it up. Gosh. You're the one that scratched that You're cover. the narrative. You're the narrator. Narrative. Gosh. All right, and the yellow wire goes to the colored wire on your bike's harness and the black wire goes to the black wire. Do I need to reach in there and do that for you? No. I got this. Let's get up under here and see her problems. So yellow goes to color. Yep. And black goes to black. Then we'll make a video and we'll see how bright these guys are. Not going in the hole. Look at little Kimmy D trying. You have to turn it up, make do a 180 degree turn on it. Oh. oh there's a little, there's two knobs that go in there, but it still only goes in one way. Oh, I felt it. 180 left or right? It doesn't matter. 180 oh, is a complete. I got it. There you go. So you guys kind of see what she's trying to do in there, hopefully. Since she forgot to do this in the beginning, it looks like she clicked it didn't forget. Here's a narrator. Nope, she forgot. She's the one installing. All right, and that's that. So that is how you install the flush mount indicators on a 2018 Street 7765 R. The happy Street Triple owner. <laughs> Let's see how bright they are, guys. All right. Turn signals. Ooh. <sighs> so that's hazards. not bad. Do I have hazards on here? How, what's hazards? No hazards? So it looks like they're pretty visible from the front. Why don't you try the other side? And not too bad from because there's no sunlight on this side. Try the other side now. Well, let's see how it looks in the bright sun. Yep, still visible. So they'll probably be a lot brighter if you didn't get the smoked, but we buy smoked. So kind of blends in with my bike. All right, guys. Well, that is the flush mount indicator install. Again, 2018 Street Triple 765R.